This has to be the most disappointing NHL team this season. The Ottawa Senators have fully fallen short of expectations. This roster is filled with talented players and future superstars, and you'll have a hard time finding another team with this much talent at the bottom of the standings. But why is Ottawa so bad this year? How did they go from everyone's sleeper pick to a team that everyone has a hard time watching? There's been a lot of factors that have derailed the success of this team, and I'm going to break it all down for you. Plus, I kind of want to talk about potentially trading one of their key players to shake up the core of this team. First, let's take a look at the roster. The Sens are a perfect combination of young talent, fresh stars, and veteran leaders. Your forward group is filled with stars like Stutzla, Kachuk, and younger guys like Pinto, Greg, and Batherson, who are all on affordable contracts. In addition to this, you have veteran guys like Giroux and Tarasenko, who both love playing for the franchise and continue to produce at a high level. So your forward group is just filled with enough talented players that should be getting you enough wins in the season to at least make the playoffs, right? Well, now we have to look at what the problem for this team really is. The first first big thing about this roster is their goaltending. Arguably one of the worst signings of the offseason was when the Senators brought in Eunice Corposalo. Corposalo is a tandem goalie at best, he's been that way since playing with the Kings and the Blue Jackets. And the Sens took a massive chance on this guy after his short well performed playoff stint with the Kings. Ottawa gave him a deal that'll keep him in town for the next 4 years and this season he has been incredibly disappointing. Corpy has an 890 save percentage and a 3.37 goals against average, only having 13 wins on the season in 34 games played. His partner Anton Forsberg also has a measly 883 save percentage, ranking the Senators dead last in save percentage, which is a killer for any team. It's becoming more and more obvious in this league that goalie is the most important part of a hockey roster, and the Senators are just known for making bad choices with this position. Ottawa is stuck with this duo for the rest of the season, but they need to make big changes in the offseason to get that area of their roster fixed. It's very important to the future of this team and you can't keep going for these fringe starter guys who really aren't going to be the future of your team. I think everybody knew that right after they signed Corposalo. You can't solely blame the goaltending though. Everyone knows that a goalie is only as strong as the blue line and sure they've been pretty brutal this year but the defense needs to take some of the blame as well. The Sens are 22nd in expected goals in 5 on 5 against and every night they get exploited for poor defensive changes which lead to odd man rushes or breakaways. The Sens are also brutal on special special teams ranking 28th in penalty kill percentage and 24th in power play percentage. Their defense gives up way too many high danger chances which destroys a team on the scoreboard. Since their defense and goaltending isn't preventing these chances from going in, this is kind of what kills the team on a night in night out basis. But this all sort of leads to my big overall point here that I've been seeing a lot of people talk about, shaking up the core of this roster. Now I first saw this mentioned on the Empty Netters podcast where former Senator Bobby Ryan talked about the current group and how they've underperformed and how much longer Ottawa can actually take investing in this team until it's time to change. As much as I love this young core, he's not wrong. Ottawa has not made the playoffs or had a winning record since 2017. This team has amazing contracts like the Batherson one, the Kachuk one, which can kind of mean they are limited on players that they could move if they want to shake up this core. The veterans won't give you much on the open market, their defensive players have great guys but they're just not performing to the right standard, and moving on from some of these great players because of your struggles could be completely deadly to the franchise. Ryan talked about potentially moving on from one piece like Stutzla just to mix up the core, and that may have to be a consideration for this Ottawa team. I'm not sure what direction Ottawa is heading in, I just know that this team should be way better than they are right now, with a roster filled with this many pieces and so much potential you have to see a little bit more results on the win category and they should be making the playoffs this year even if the league is this competitive there are no excuses for this team right now now obviously like most teams they've had some injuries and off ice drama but what do you guys think about this ottawa team is the season a complete and utter failure for the senators and is it time for them to make some big changes or do you think they need to stick with their roster and just hope things work out based on all of the stuff they know about this system let me know what you guys think in the comments below like this video subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.